Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, afternoon, and good evening. Another day, another debut. Today, we are joining with the brand new boy group, The Seven. No, this is not a mistyping of Ming House stage name. This is a brand new boy group, and um, this one's slightly interesting from what I've read up on. So, of course, as it is with any debut, we have to first. Hop on over to K Profiles one time. Now, for those of you who are new around here, I refer to this Reddit page. This is the upcoming release uh, schedule. And every single time on the schedule, I see debut next to any artist. I will check it out regardless. And as it is with today, brand new group, brand new music. We must check it out anyway. So, let's learn about the members one time. The Seven. They are a pre-debut Korean Thai boy group. That is one of the things I had read up on. Uh, so, for the first time on this channel, and for the first time um, in recent memory, I th uh, we are breaking into the Thai market. Um, now, there have been Thai artists in the past. Like, there's NCT's and Wavy's 10. We've got... Uh, Oh boy. We've got Lisa from Blackpink. We've got Bam Bam. We've got Minnie from Idol. My brain is not working today. Uh, but we've had Thai idols in the K-pop industry. We've never, to my knowledge, had like an out-and-out Thai-based Thai group. Because they're under Ganada Entertainment, who are a Thai entertainment company. Which is going to be very exciting to see how they run things. Um, the four time members were picked through the Ties for show Seven Stars, and I'm assuming uh, there's going to be some like already like pre-established fandom based around that show already, which will be great for them. And they are debuting today with the single Get Loose, which we will check out in a few minutes here. But let's learn the members. Uh, up. Mate, 1990. Ooh, 95. In a day and age where, just like earlier in the week, I was freaking out about Baby Monster and their like age range. We're getting some people that are actually older than me now, which is very exciting. Um, I don't know Ty, so I may be butchering some of these names, or if not all of these names, but Weerapong Odeong. Stage name Op. Let's see. Chosen by the fans, so he went through the show because he's Ty. Uh, p -p -p addicted to music. Word up. Um, dancing specialty. Okay, so we got a dancer as well. Uh, listen, likes to listen to ballad and pop music. Rock on, brother. Let's go. Okay, next member. Pa. Arantum Tirat Kokul. Oof. Again, apologies. I don't know Thai. I'm just trying to piece together the phonetics, but... February 24, 96. Okay, so we've got a... We've got a fairly older lineup. I can appreciate that. Chosen by the Korean members to be part of the group. Very interesting. Choreographing dances. Martial artists. Okay, so we got another dancer in the group. Um, Four member of pre-debut Thai boy groups. Sky Lies. Okay. Writer, producer, and composer of Sky Lies. Okay, very interesting. Multi-instrumentalist. One million dance studio dancer. Uh, backup dancer for GOT7 and BTS. That's very cool. So we got, a, like, a dancer dancer on this one. Okay, next member. Young Kwan. Pak Young Kwan, May 22, 96. Okay. Uh, contestant on Survival Show Boys 24. Favorite artist Big Bang and Top. Um, Walk the Runway 2017 Soul Fashion Week. Hell yeah. Uh, ah uh -uh. We got an ah uh -uh enthusiast here. It's like, Bugs Goes Zombie. Okay, Fear of Heights. Okay. Oh, man. Reality content for them is... I feel like he's going to be targeted. Also, fellow ISFJ lad, let's go. And Jesus, six foot. He's so tall. Oh, man. Okay. Yo-yo. Uh, Tanawin Sintoem. 
June 15, 99. Okay, so we got a little bit of a bait, an age gap here now. Here are my other Korean members. Bye, say. <gasps> I, lo I love that for them. Out, out. They are out. And they're going to be one of the only few. There's another. There's a solo artist who's openly by that kind of made the rounds on social media early, uh, late last year. But props to you. I love that for you. He knows time he was going instruments. That's very cool. That I reckon. I reckon getting some like traditional Thai influences into their songs could be very interesting. And can speak English, okay. Yunmin, not that much on yo yo. Hmm. Anyways, Yunmin, current name Yunmin, uh, February 2601. Uh, member of New Kid. Member of New Kid, but haven't had a comeback in three years. Oh, well, welcome back to the industry, Yunmin. Okay. Hip hop and ballet, favorite drink. Cola does not like vegetables or peppers. Okay. Soyoung would approve. What drama love after school too? Why does that sound familiar? Hmm. Um. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Wuchal. Shim Wuchal. October 2, 2002. Member of New Kid. Okay. Uh, appeared in Mad Claude and Ailey's Thurston V. Hmm. Haven't seen it, I don't think. Maybe I've heard it in passing, but... Starting a neighbor TV series by a home and love after school too. Okay, so we have a couple actors in the lineup. Very cool. And I think this is the last member. Yeah, Peanut. Uh, Piranat Virani Pikul. November 1, 2002. Okay. Known by the fans. Must have gone through the show. Uh, singing, guitar, games, mood. Oh, shrimp and salmon. Very nice. Love, love some seafood here, man. R&B and pop. Nice. Bass and acoustic guitar. So lots of string instruments. Very cool. Um, idols are BTS and Stray Kids is Hyunjin. Do you like a little bit of choreo one time as well? All right. This is a very well-rounded group. I quite enjoyed that. Okay. We've learned a little bit about the members. Now... No promises that I'm going to be able to put names to faces. Give me like a few comebacks for that. But we have a debut song to check out. So over on the next tab, full screen. Unfortunately, no captions, but that is okay. We're going to crank up the volume in my headphones. Three, two, one. Oh, a little bit of playful funk bass going on. Is it in English? It's all in English so far. Oh, very nice tone. Very different. Looks free course. So far, so good. Yo, this chorus hits. What is this? Oh, that synth in the back was really nuts. There's this playful energy to this song that's really appropriate for the vibe of it. The 
production of this song too. That synth in the background is going nuts already. And then... I like the super bright major key for this chorus. Oh, break it down, half time it. Oh, very long build. We got a, an isolated course. Bring it back with all the synths. Both lab lips. a lot of fun whoa the energy is immaculate oh my goodness oh <laughs> my voice you know what this gave me the feeling of if any of you remember what tempest were like when they debuted last year with bad news it's that kind of like playful, useful energy that is just like so refreshing to hear because it's like, again, it's kind of also a seasonal thing because it is kind of in the middle of winter. Well, for the Northern Hemisphere, it's like late-ish winter depending on where you are. But it's this time where a lot of people are kind of like down in the dumps and it's not like it's not such a great time, you know, school is starting back up, the weather's really cold, it's not very pretty outside, you know, there's not much in the way of, like, greenery growing yet, because it's still too cold for that. And when you listen to a song that's this bright and bubbly and energetic, it just makes you feel good inside, because it's like an extra dose of serotonin you didn't know you were going to have. But... Frankly, for a debut, I'm so impressed by this. Like, this song is such an easy song to listen and vibe along to that, like, the energy's so immaculate, you can't help but dance along to it. I mean, the song itself follows, you know, standard pop song formula to the T, pretty much, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's the way the song is written and produced, I think, is so well done. Like, it's really balanced. There's nothing that's too in your face. The vocals are clean and crisp. You've got some really pretty synths, synth work going on. The bass is really nice. Percussion line is clean. But nothing is, like, fighting against each other. Like, we'll just jump back part. There's a healthy amount of rapping in this song, but it doesn't feel out of place. In fact, it flows with the song really well. This pre-chorus build here, you kind of hear that like electric guitar, like synth-like kind of sound taking the instrumental melody and you can hear it like slowly building in the background it's got this like kind of like funky beat to it it's got the vibe where it kind of just makes you move in your chair or move in place and then all of a sudden that first chord of the synth in the chorus is this really bright happy chord like when i say like happy and sad chord usually it means major and minor so like a minor chord will sound kind of sad or kind of for longing things like that but a major chord will sound really bright and happy in comparison um there's a there's a comedy sketch by british comedian bill bailey about major and minor it Albeit being a comedy skit is one of the best examples on how to like describe 
major minor chords. Um, I'll actually link it in the I button up there uh, for those of you who want to check it out. But when you have a major chord just hit like that on a chorus drop, it makes it so bright. And it's the perfect effect that it gave to this song was this, this super bright injection of energy. And you have this like really simple kick drum percussion line going. Just enough of like modulation and like auto tune in the vocals there, where it's not too in your face, but it gives it a little bit of a different effect than just natural singing. And then this, you have this post chorus bit here. And then you have this pre chorus post chorus. And then let that funky bass in the background do its thing. Bring in another rap verse again. This time it's shortened. Full length pre chorus, and then. That's. Oh. This song is exquisite. I tremendously enjoyed it, and uh, frankly, I hope they kind of gain traction because this is. This is a market that. Um, has not been really touched in the industry in terms of like getting a Thai group out into the Korean market. And I know that Thai pop music has been kind of popping off recently. You know, like props to that, props to that industry. I'm not very familiar with it, like at all. I only know like the handful of Thai artists that are in like the major K pop groups. But, you know, getting groups from outside of Korea <clears throat> promoting within Korea should should they actually promote I don't know what their debut schedule is gonna be like, but no we're getting groups like Nizu who are run by a Korean company in abroad and team much the same way with Hive in Japan. But we don't really get the other way around. We don't really get foreign countries, entertainment companies promoting their groups within mainland Korea. I think the closest we've gotten so far is XG. But, yeah, nothing, hopefully nothing but the best for them, because this is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. And this is, um, this is a sound that's also, uh, not very common with today's boy group music, I feel like. You don't really get really bright, poppy boy group music anymore. And so this will be tapping into the, another market that not many groups are uh, using right now. So hopefully, hopefully they gain some traction. Um, at the time of recording, this MV dropped 40 minutes ago. I have to get really lucky with the timing. But yeah, hope, hopefully, hopefully they take off. And yeah, congratulations to them for debuting and nothing but the best moving forward. But that's it for me today. Thank you for dealing with me on this very long debut reaction. Typically it doesn't go this long, but I think covering the members took a long time today. And me just kind of getting back into the rhythm of talking over videos and stuff. It takes a little while for me to do that. But that's it for me today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did want to see, uh, if you did enjoy, want to see more, channel icon is up there. You can find the back catalog stuff I watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.